And now for our final installment of the Midterms Minute. We hope you found value in these segments, even if hearing them simply kept the midterms at the top of your mind for the last four months. There are just a few more days to go before the election. You may be thinking that there isn't much you can do at this point to make a difference, but you'd be wrong. There's still plenty of time to donate, phone bank, volunteer, and talk to your friends and family about voting and getting engaged. Check out our previous segment for a list of four things you can do to make a difference and links to resources. This week, the DCCC announced its six red alert house races that need a big final show of support to finish strong. Four of these races are currently rated as toss-ups by Cook Political Report. Kristen Carlson is running in Florida's 15th district, which encompasses two incredibly expensive media markets. This is down to a one-point toss-up race. Sean Caston is running in Illinois' 6th district and is tied in a head-to-head contest despite a $2 million effort by Paul Ryan's Super PAC and even more from the Koch brothers to drag him down. Brandon Kelly is running in Illinois' 12th district, which is a traditional swing district where Obama and Tammy Duckworth both won, but the race is leaning Republican at the moment. Andy Kim is running in New Jersey's 3rd district against the wealthiest member of the New Jersey delegation who is injecting massive personal money into his campaign to try to win this toss-up race. Lizzie Pennell Fletcher is running in Texas's 7th district, where the NRCC and Paul Ryan Super PAC have already spent over a million dollars for her opponent in one of the top 10 most expensive media markets in the country. This is a toss-up race. Colin Allred is running in Texas's 32nd district, where more Republican money has been spent than almost every other House race this year. It's still a toss-up. You can donate or learn other ways to help these candidates by going to redtoblue.dccc.org. Of course, information for all of the battleground races and ways to get involved can be found at the Midterms Minute HQ at bestoftheleft.com slash midterms. And to close out our last Midterms Minute of 2018, we're leaving you with a passage from progressive pastor John Pavlovitz's article entitled, You Can't Change Hatred, But You Can Outvote It. If their consciences and compassion and reason have not been accessed and unearthed by now, I'm concerned those things will never be forthcoming. And since these people will not be moved, the rest of us need to move together. Democrat, Republican, and Independent, the deeply devout, the passionately irreligious, people of every pigmentation and persuasion. We need to move in concert to affirm our shared regard for one another and to vote to restore balance in something we all love that is teetering wildly. This isn't a battle to change the minds of the few who refuse to be changed. That horse is dead. It also isn't a test to see if we can manufacture the same hatred and vitriol for them as they dispense towards us. This is a golden moment for the vast, sprawling army of good people who believe in the beauty of diversity and in a fully accessible America to speak unequivocally on our social media profiles, at family gatherings, in our church meetings, and most of all, in the voting booth. We don't need to convince or coddle or win over hatred, and we don't need to outdo it either. We need to outnumber it. We need to outlast it. We need to outlove it. We need to outvote it.